Hello and welcome to the Wake Up Podcast. I am Ben Kaysen here with Paige Schemenauer, finally in the studio. Paige, how are you doing? I'm doing good, Ben. How are you? Good. Paige, you're one of the original three. We got some marketeers. Mm-hmm. You and Meredith and Mia. Yeah. It took me forever to get you in here to talk to you. <laughs> I know. It's been a minute. I keep seeing like different people from the from work that like, go off and do the podcast. I'm like, that looks fun. <laughs> <laughs> that looks Maybe fun. I'll I want to try it. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. It, you know. You have a lot of perspective when it comes to Wake Up because you joined very early on. You were around for a lot of the Undercover Billionaire stuff, like with Grant and with, you know, all of the whirlwind of things that happened to get things going. Can you kind of take me through what was your perspective on Wake Up and the start of Wake Up? What was your part in the tale? So the start of Wake Up was originally we had like so many different ideas going around because me and Mia were hired to help Meredith do marketing for Snap and Snooze. Yeah. We were doing that and we were under a name of like Utopia Marketing. So we're like, oh, that's what we're doing. And this Lewis Curtis guy comes in who was Grant Cardone, but um, he was like, okay, like I want to do it. Like I want to do this marketing and that. It's like, I want to blow up Pueblo. And that's what he wanted to call it. And we're <laughs> blow like, up Pueblo. <laughs> yeah, we're like that, um, maybe that's not a good idea. Like that sounds a little like you're trying to like do some terrorist acts here. So yep. uh, we're going to avoid that. So um, we created... A company called um, Gorilla, Gorilla Corps is what we wanted to do it because mm. we were, have you ever he- heard of the Gorilla Girls? The Gorilla Girls? I don't think I have. So the Gorilla Girls were uh, a band of girls trying to bring down like female, like objectivity, objective. Uh, mm. Yeah, ob- objectifying females. Ob- yeah. Yeah. So they were trying to bring down objectivity of the female body in modern art. So they would do a lot of... Um, yeah, just art, but it, oh, it's cool. a, it very pow- powerful for women. Yeah. Um. So that's what we wanted to do because it was the three of us were all girls. So we were like, oh, that works for us. Yeah. So we presented him with this and he's like, ah, I don't like it. We're like, oh, <laughs> okay. But he liked the mm. idea of the marketing. So we went ahead with that and then, um, yeah, then Wake Up started and we found we found a name. We bounced around with names forever until we finally settled on Wake Up. And mm. then from there, the ball just kept rolling. We started doing marketing. We figured out a logo. We did Every, all, everything <laughs> just yeah. everything picked up yep we picked out a building we renovated it a lot and then yeah yeah started getting clients so so what was that like for you obviously you didn't sign up probably for everything that happened what was that like you know you came in just to do help market it and snap and snooze mm-hmm. yeah so i was so excited to get this job i remember mm-hmm. like getting in the getting the call that i got the job and just like screaming i was so happy Mm -hmm. Um, it was kind of funny because i know i know matt did this to mia and i but he kind of like when he called us back that we got the job he was like oh like hey (laughs) uh, hey Paige, like gotta let you know like you got the job (laughs) that's awesome and uh, he did the same thing to me and i was like i was so depressed when i first like (laughs) i was on the phone i'm like oh i didn't get it and Mm. like oh like yay yay um so yeah it was crazy because like it was a great job I was doing photography doing videography I got to do graphics everything that I had studied learned and loved and I was mm-hmm. like practically using it and I was working with like two of my best friends so they that was awesome like you can't get a better job than that sure um and then uh we started doing more and more and I don't know it just you kind of kept rolling with the punches but we were kind of used to that with Matt because we knew he was going to move fast for sure mm. but this was Definitely faster than I think any of us ever expected it would. Sure. So, yeah, it was nice. So it was just moving fast. So what was your perspective then on Lewis Curtis when he jumped in? When he first jumped in, I was kind of confused because mm. we kind of had the structure. We kind of had the branding of how we wanted to roll each company and the way we wanted to do the videos, to do the graphics, to how we were going to do our advertisement, basically. Mm. And he's like, oh, but I don't like any of that. We're going to do it completely different. And we're mm. like, okay, like, who's this guy coming in and trying to do everything that we've like built up so yeah kind of had some issues with that i wasn't a huge fan um and then yeah we got some more insight as to where he wanted to take things and not necessarily sure. with snooze but with other clients i'm like okay as long as you don't touch like snooze and snap and those are our babies <laughs> like yeah. we just made these companies what do you mean we just branded them um so yeah i think it was interesting as soon as he started um like launching the ideas with new clients and new companies and uh, doing different brandings for them i thought i'm like oh we can do that and hmm. yeah we just kept kept doing it i guess i don't know it's like as soon as you understood what he was trying to do or what um what he wanted to yeah so as soon as he would say something you'd like understand it go get started on it 
And then after that, he would be like, all right, now I have a new task for you. So it was mm. always task after task, and you would get half of one done before jumping onto another, and it was very chaotic. Cool. But uh, we, got, we got a lot done in a short amount of time, that's for sure. 